hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about twin tub process in the previous video i have explained about the two different cases of cmos fabrication like p well fabrication process and n well fabrication process so this video completely deals about the third fabrication process which is nothing but twin tub process twin tub process is the combination of both the p well and as well as n well structures suppose <clears throat> suppose if you have taken the cmos fabrication so cmos device can be fabricated we know cmos can be fabricated in three ways okay cmos is nothing but what do you mean by cmos cmos is nothing but pmos and as well as nmos it is a combination of both the devices so there are three different ways that a cmos device can be fabricated the first one is p well process and the second one is n well process third one is twin tub process twin tub or twin well process okay so in the previous two videos i have explained about the p well fabrication process and n well fabrication process here also the same steps involved in the fabrication of this uh, twin tub process where twin tub consisting of twin tub two tubs one tub is nothing but p tub nothing but p well and another tub is nothing but n tub which is of n type substrate so it is n well so tub is nothing but well well is nothing but a substrate where that particular transistor is going to be created okay so now if you have remembered the structures of p well and n well the combination of both these will yield the twin tub process that means we are fabricating both the tubs both the wells on a single silicon substrate so that both the transistors will come under the same uh, silicon substrate and that will create the cmos device so let us recall the p well fabrication process in the p well fabrication process the final outcome of this uh, uh, cmos device structure is like this where this is the p well that was created on the n type substrate okay we have first considered the n type substrate as yes, this is the n type substrate and later we have diffused this p well this p well is for the creation of which transistor it is the n mos transistor p well is for n mos transistor and n type substrate is for the creation of p mos transistor this is the p mos transistor so we know the p mos transistor should be connected between the vdd and output see vdd is connected to this source terminal and a drain is connected to the output similarly the p well where the n mos transistor is fabricated that is going to be connected in between the output and as well as ground that's why vss is nothing but ground okay and coming to the input case the input is connected between two gates this is the gate terminal and this is also gate terminal of this transistor and as well as this transistor these two gates are connected to the input this is what the structure of the p well fabrication process where we have only one well that is of p type which was fabricated or which was diffused on an n type substrate coming to the second type of fabrication process which is a n well fabrication process in the n well fabrication process the n well is created on a p type substrate okay so this is the n well as we have shown here it is the n well where it was created on the p type substrate okay here the indication the representation of each and every layer represents that particular layer is n type or p type okay so this n well creates which transistor now this n well creates the p mos transistor okay that substrate is the opposite type of transistor so n well is nothing but n type substrate that is going to create a p mos transistor and this p type substrate which will create n mos transistor okay we know the basic structure of the p mos transistor uh, cmos device where the pmos is connected between vdd and ground so that's why this pmos device is connected between vdd and output and nmos transistor is connected between output and ground vss okay where the two gates of these two transistor nmos and pmos are connected together with the input terminal okay this is what the structure of this uh, 
uh, CMOS device with this NVEL fabrication process. Whatever the fabrication process NVEL or PVEL, finally the PMOS should be connected in the pull up place between VDD and output and NMOS transistor should be connected in the pull down place between output and the ground. Now the mixing of these two devices, these two CMOS structures will give the twin tub process where we are having two tubs. Okay, suppose if you draw the twin tub process, twin tub process. Okay, I am not explaining the fabrication process of the twin tub because the fabrication of the twin tub is same as the fabrication of, of P well and as well as N well. Okay, I am just explaining the final structure how it will come. I am taking a little bit wider because I need to fabricate, I need to diffuse to N well and P well regions. Okay, until this particular layer, we are having an epitaxial layer. Okay, we will consider an N type substrate. This is the N type substrate. Okay, entire we will consider N type substrate first. Later, we will create some epitaxial layer. This is the epitaxial layer. Epitoxial layer is nothing but undergoing this particular n type substrate at high temperature to create a crystalline structure. To create a crystalline, or is you can also call it as an isolator <coughs> or insulator. Insulator. Okay, so crystalline structure and this also known as epitaxial layer that is going to be created at high temperature to make it as an insulator. Okay, now on this insulator we are having two tubs that are created. This is first tub and this is going to be the second tub. So one will be the N well and another will be the P well as the name twin tub. Okay, two tubs are created on a single epitaxial layer that was created on an n-type substrate. Okay, we know the structure of n-type substrate representation is like this. Here the p-well representation is like this caps and n-well representation like this. Okay, now in this we have this diffusion and this diffusion here also we have the diffusion of p type here and p type as well as n type here p n this is sorry p and this one is n n and this is p or we can call it as p plus here it is n plus what is the necessity of this n plus and p plus on either sides of these two transistors because this n plus region acting as the substrate for this n well transistor and uh, NVEL substrate and as well as this P plus is acting as the substrate for this P well substrate. So now this becomes the source, take it as one terminal, this becomes the source, take it as another terminal. Okay, so now these two are nothing but drains that are connected to the output which is nothing but V out from both of these drains. And at the center, we are having polysilicon under which we have an oxide layer. Okay, so from this, we have metal contact, and these two are given to the input V input as like your CMOS structure. Now, which is PMOS and which is NMOS? Which is PMOS transistor and which is NMOS transistor? See here, this is P well is nothing but this one is NMOS transistor. And this N well is nothing but PMOS transistor. Now PMOS transistor should be connected to the output. Uh, sorry, PMOS transistor should be connected between VDD and output. So that's why it is VDD, and this is the output. And NMOS transistor should be connected between VSS or ground and V out. Okay, this is as per the structure. Epitaxial layer is indicated by just horizontal lines a dash line this is the epitaxial layer what do you mean by epitaxial layer see other than this epitaxial layer everything is known which is already 
I have introduced in different different uh, fabrication process. This epitaxial layer is nothing but a crystalline structure that is created at a high temperature to make it as insulator. What is the purpose of making this as an insulator? Because we are creating one transistor here, we are creating another transistor here, which are side by side. If it is an n-type substrate, then there will be a direct connection between these two transistors. Internally, there will be having latch-up problem and number of transistors or resistors that are going to be created, connected between these two. Suppose if there is a connection. But as we are uh, doping, as we are creating two wells on the insulator, there is no contact internally between these two as they are, as they are isolated between them, as they are isolated from each other. Okay, hope you understand this is what the twin top process. So if you see the diagram uh, more clearly, see this is the diagram of this uh, twin top process where we have considered n-type substrate. That n-type substrate uh, entirely half part of the substrate is created as an epitaxial layer, nothing but an insulator, a crystalline structure and remaining are P-well and well, whatever I have discussed in the previous slide. Okay, this is what the twin top process which is the third and final structure of the CMOS fabrication process. Thank you.